Hey, and this tutorial um, is a really cool tutorial that I picked up and um, what we're going to do is create uh, iPod type graphics so you'll see these really cool graphics of black silhouettes now the idea came to me from when I went to an exhibition and I saw a um, Photoshop artist playing around literally hours trying to rectify and get that black silhouette really sharp and I've this is one I made and I've devised a really simple solution, a really quick solution on how to get um, something like this uh, relatively with using simple steps so really a basic person um, individual can work with this inside Photoshop so here's the one that I created with literally in minutes so let's have a look on how I did that so what I'm gonna do is the first thing you need to do is open up a um, graphic or an artist um, a graphic or artwork that you want to use and I've got this chap online I don't know who he is um, I just googled him um, just t typed in dance or whatever and you can see that um, I've got a picture of a guy doing a cool handstand now the way that this works is you will need a graphic of something re relatively simple with simple shapes and a person dancing all that kind of stuff so once you've opened that up or you've got something similar you need to double click we'll convert this into a working layer and I'm just going to use the quick selection tool and make sure you select a solid brush so we've got a solid brush like so and 30 pix 37 pixels is fine for me and I'm just going to holding the mouse down just select the background and press delete and I'm going to continue to do this up here as well and again just delete okay and I'll use a marquee tool to deselect everything and I'm going to use a eraser tool with a hard brush and I'm just going to erase some details away I'm just going to do this really quickly to show you guys and I'll use a quick selection tool so I could have done this a lot different ways but I just want to keep it really simple and I'm just going to erase some areas there it doesn't have to be perfect but there we go okay now the next thing we need to do is insert another layer above this layer and we need to compress shift and F5 or edit fill and we can go to black okay so we see the whole layer has turned black now the next thing we need to do is if you hold alt key over the two layers and if you put your cursor directly between these two layers you click that tab and hey presto we've got a um, a really nice silhouette and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a black brush and I'm just going to fill in oh sorry I'm just going to fill in some details like so because that brush was a bit soft okay now what we'll do is uh, for the back, back background layer I'm just going to drag that down and we will create uh, give him a background as well so I'm just going to pick pick up a color um, here was my other one like so and I'm just going to pick that color and click OK so that color is loaded into my foreground color and I'm going to go back here and we can do shift and F5 edit fill and we can put it to foreground color hey presto okay and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert another layer and I'm just going to switch this to the default black and white and I'm going to use a brush and I'll put it onto a hundred soft brush and it's too dark so go back a step second I'm just gonna okay I'm just gonna click once and <clears throat> I'm gonna use an eraser and I'm gonna use another soft brush and we'll just raise that bit down like so so it's just not floating in midair so it gives it a bit more substance okay so we've got that the next thing we're gonna do is insert another layer and give him the iconic um, headphones and iPod gear so I'm just gonna switch over to white and I'm gonna use a brush 
um, select something really small, um, three, I think, yeah, three pixels and a solid fill. And I'm just going to draw some wires. I think three is two. I'll use one. Um, and I'll just draw some wires like so. And obviously, you can work with some level of precision until your heart's content. And I'm just going to use an eraser and erase that one there. Okay, we could do that. Um, I'm quite happy with that. It looks like he's got his iPod tucked in somewhere, so it's kind of less obvious. And what I also did for my other one, um, I've got, I've put some text in. So just add another layer. Just put some text if you want to do that as well. Okay, so I just typed in. I think it was I. Pod. Okay, so there you have it. Really simple. Um. On the on the other one that I did, I actually took the wires there and kind of had the iPod dangling. If you want to do that as well, and you can see that I've got a soft kind of um, dark blur, so it looks like he's not floating in the edge. And we can have great fun with this. You can have different people. You can have you can put them uh, on a layer mask. We can have them reflecting and all that kind of stuff. So it's really simple. And the guy literally spent hours on trying to rectify and do something like this um, when it when it can be done relatively using simple steps. So there we have it. iPod people dancing away.